Okay, I'm here with Rafael Zamora. Rafael, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Sure. Well, I wanted to see our new line of uh, PowerEdge C servers, and in particular, in this one, I wanted to see the, the uh, PowerEdge C1100. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, the C1100. You know what? It's right in front of me. Why don't we take a look? Okay. One U form factor product. Okay. So the way it looks, a lot of people call it a pizza box. Okay, let's call it a pizza box. But within inside this pizza box here, if you look at the front from a hard drive configuration, I could do four hard disk drives. This configuration that you see here incorporates a three and a half inch drive. And one of the unique things uh, for this product here at that time of, you know, of engineering or construction or whatever have you is that we have a provision to go four three and a half inch drives or you could actually put 10 two and a half inch drives, all front loading. So imagine these hard drives all in front, if they were two and a half inch drives, the entire front of this platform will be filled with drives. Right, so that's from a hard drive perspective. Let's take a look inside the box. Okay, so this is the fan assembly you see in front. This is the housing that the drive's made into. This area right here holds the dual redundant power supplies. And here's this board. Uh, this board is a, uh, it's a very high performing board here. And some of the design points that you want to look at is, yes, it is a 18 dim stick configuration. Right? So for high memory optimized compute, it's great. I could get easily to 144 gigs of RAM here by populating all these sticks. Uh, these heat sinks that you see there, uh, those are the microprocessors. And the microprocessors of choice that we have here today for this product at launch is, we'll give you Nehalem, we'll give you Westmere, really your call. And this little slot that you see here is a PCI Express expansion slot. Right? That expansion slot you see there is for the expansion cards that you would have. Also, in addition to it, what you can't see is that little, it has a capability for me to put a MES card. So in addition to what I would have for an additional expansion slot, I could put a MES card in there. So some of our customers want an expansion bay and they want the ability to put a 10 gigi NIC, but I don't want to occupy that slot. A MES card is a great option. Right? Um, let me just show you another one of the mechanicals here. As you can see here, here's the dual redundant power supplies. These slide all the way out. There are two of them. All right? And uh, if you want to take a peek at the back here as well, uh, I'm just going to call out several things here. USB port. This little port that you see there is a service port. That's where we would manage it via IPMI. And uh, these two right there are your production NICs, so people like to call it. And uh, they are the Intel Coella Nix. Very cool. Now, anything else? Just uh, it, who would this be? Uh, would this be targeted? What type of folks would would want to be using these? So you know, I mean, this is just top of mind here, right? So one of the uh, current customers that's deploying this, uh, they wanted to run a very effective memcache platform, right? Because uh, for this specific case, they wanted a boatload of RAM and some pretty good microprocessors to run with, right? And uh, this product here was a natural fit for them. Uh, another use case here was just recently, uh, one of the uh, uh, software security firms uh, really liked this product because they, in a small package, this is what they did. I'm telling you here, Barton. They wanted 10 drives. They wanted a stand-up RAID card with battery back cache. They wanted 10 gig E. They wanted 144 gigs of RAM, dual power supply, and Westmere. All of that in a one unit. So definitely a lot of use. Very cool. Raf, thank you so much. Bye.